Hey everybody, welcome to today's showcase, today's second showcase, since I did promise that we would have two today. Today's going to be a little bit of a short one, just because we have uh, not a ton of stuff to talk about, but a couple major feature drops uh, just came in that I'm personally really, really excited about. Um, so I'm just using a little pre-built map that we used for the Dungeon 3D actual play. It's it's nothing crazy. Um, this is a little village that Mary came across. But um, the first thing that I wanted to go ahead and, and talk about here is the music player has a play all shuffle and repeat option uh, now. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the other features. So with that, uh, with the music player, with the play shuffle and repeat option, when you fill the folder with music, you hit the play button, it plays whatever is there. I think it just goes down the list. Or you can go ahead and uh, if you load it out, if you hit play, it just plays that video that you have highlighted or that song that you have highlighted. And then if you want it to play all, um, you just check play all and hit. Same thing with shuffle, so on and so forth. Um, I encourage people who may end up using this in their streams, make sure you purchase uh, not purchase, but find music that is royalty free. Uh, Stream Beats is a good place for things like that. If you're a talented music person, like I am not, uh, definitely take a look at making your own music and sounds and stuff like that. Um, so I would hate for fellow creators to have their videos demonetized or whatever because they're using copyrighted music. Don't use copyrighted music. Uh, we have a couple. Maybe I think we have just one new uh, I not icon. One new creature, and it is the orc. Oh no, we have two. We do have two. So that's the orc, the big burly fellow. Um, same thing. He has a little bit different animations than the others. Uh, he has the same kind of stuff though: uh, skin, clothes, hair, and eyes. And then we have uh, the cultist. Now, the cool thing about the cultist is that it kind of has some ghostly ethereal qualities to him. So not only could it be a cultist, it could also be a ghost or some other type of, you know, um, ethereal or incorporeal undead thing. Um, so there is that. Let's see. What else is in there? Let's take a look at the change log. Oh, there's a change log? Yes. Um, that change log can be found in our Discord. Um Please join our Discord. It's very cool. Um, that's where updates are. There's a poll going on for what kind of uh, very fun little uh, extra packs will be added in the future. Um, it has been heavily optimized. Okay. Um, and uh, it runs very smoothly now, especially if you have huge maps with a ton of stuff going on there. For those that watch the stream, um, there will be a copy of that that comes up on YouTube. I went crazy with that map and it ran just fine um and there's now a character limit to avatars they can have up to 24 characters so you can't go totally crazy with that um i think that about covers it uh as far as new stuff that's been added as far as new, new things and changes but i do want to go ahead and go over this little thing that you might have noticed in the top corner here and this little thing in the top corner here is probably one of my favorite changes uh, that Arena has ever done. And this little rotor allows you to align your map instantly with different sides of the map as well as the top down view. So what we're going to do is we're just going to totally mess up the camera orientation so I can show you how this works. So camera orientation is totally jacked up. I'm staring at this tavern and I need to go ahead and get the orientation back again. So if I want to... And this, this is... Um, situated in such a way as it, as it, it is the rotation based on when you load in the map, okay? So if I wanted to look at the left side of the map, bam, it has it organized uh, in the, as oriented to the left side. Same thing on the right side. Click the right of the rotor, and it will go ahead and orient it to the right side. Now, there are anchor points for where it hits to, so when you hit it, when you click it, you're going to see that it goes to where it goes. And you just have to reorient that way. 
Um, it just allows you to orient the map in that direction. You want to go from the top, or rather the default, because it's looking towards the top, um, kind of flight stick style, if you will, I guess, because um, you know up is down. Um, if you want to look from the towards the bottom of the map, there you can go. You can see the backs of these buildings, um, and then what really makes this other feature shine is this in that um there is the ability to look top down and this is really cool because not only could this now be used for battle maps this could also be used for regular map making so if you click the middle part of the rotor it is now a top down view of the map so you could go ahead and zoom out and you could create handouts which is something i love to do to be able to create uh, maps for my players to look at so uh, i think it's super cool um look forward to getting have you guys test that out keep an eye out for our other videos the actual play uh every weekday monday through friday at uh 9 p.m or i'm sorry 9 a.m mountain standard time and 6 p.m mountain standard time and then we got our showcase video um on saturdays and then build video on sundays Okay, so that's super cool. Remember, the Kickstarter ends in less than two weeks. The Kickstarter ends on... Actually, it's two weeks from tomorrow. No. So this video is coming out on the 26th. It ends from one week from today. All right? So on the 2nd of September is when the Kickstarter ends. If you want to go ahead and back it, please do so soon. Um, and we will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.